when you commit your life to Christ, it is a lifelong relationship. And it's not only a lifelong, well, we're on earth here, but it's an eternal, eternal. relationship. So it, figure it like this. If you've got a family member <clears throat> who you absolutely love to spend time with, you know, and you have a good personal relationship, a healthy personal relationship, and then all of a sudden you, you're with them and they don't speak to you anymore. They just ignore you and you can't work it out why they would want to you know disappoint you or why they're disappointing you and why they don't want to speak to you yeah. or why they're being nasty to you or you can't work it out because you've always had a good relationship with them and you know yeah. when you when you when you first come to christ and you realize that christ is your first love yeah. and then you're all excited and you're talking to him every day and you're praising him you're exalting him you're singing those worship songs at the church with great joy Amen. and you're reading his word with great expectation then many years after down the path of your journey with christ you stop reading the bible you stop talking to god in prayer you only use him for an emergency prayer because life things going on around you uh it it is distracting you yeah so how do you think your creator the creator of the heavens and the earth your loving god would feel when you don't speak to him he says there, uh, because he inclined his ear to me, and that means to me and all of you, when you yeah. pray, when you talk with God, that's what prayer is, is communing with God. It is communicating with God via our spirit to his spirit mm -hmm. and uh we know we connect spiritually so if that was cut off how would god feel because he loves you unconditionally mm -hmm. and he wants mm -hmm. to hear he's waiting there with excitement mm -hmm. and with anticipation mm -hmm. of his child coming to talk to him yeah, and then we don't mm -hmm. talk to him mm -hmm. uh, and when you think about like Jesus was eternally the Son of God and he became flesh, it would be ridiculous if he just stopped talking to his father. He continued the relationship. Well, that's all it, the isn't time. it? And he gave you know, that example you know, about he, uh, the good was, relationship. Yeah, yeah. He was always in prayer. Yeah. He and, didn't and, do and, anything without consulting with his father. Even the things that he said and did, he was always in consultation and an agreement with the father. Yeah. He didn't do anything independently. And, and just just think about eric also all of us think about when we were small children and you know we thought about our mother we could we as we think back to our mothers some of our mothers have passed away and uh you know i'm talking about that good relationship we have with especially males with yeah, our yeah. mothers right we we have a very loving relationship with our mothers and then you know we rely on our parents as a whole you know father and mother yeah. to provide for us to take care of us to hear to hear us when we cry mm. uh, and to give us that cuddle when we need that cuddle yeah. give us that loving support but you know like when you lose a parent you know to death you lose a parent it cuts right through to the heart mm. and because you feel like all your support has gone right yeah, all that love is gone that connection, connection. Yeah. so it's the same for all of us when we are a believer when we become a true believer in christ and and in the beginning we're all exciting and everything and we're on fire for god we're in his word we can memorize those scriptures it's like eating uh, a piece of pie you know it's second nature to us yeah. and then as we progress in our walk with christ and some time goes by then we forget our first love mm -hmm. and it's like forgetting your parents and you know if you really love your mother and your father mm -hmm. and they really loved you and they care for you then it would be very difficult if you didn't speak to them anymore or you mm -hmm. know if your children didn't speak to you the parents or the parents didn't speak to the children because mm -hmm. that happens oh, yeah, right yeah. Oh, yeah. And sometimes parents can be uh go very crazy and uh, they cut off their children oh, yeah. and they do all kinds of crazy things but oh. for those i'm talking about those loving relationships with parents yeah. because the bible says we must honor our, our mother, mother and father, father right yeah. so yeah. we've got to honor them because uh you know if it weren't for god and it weren't for god creating them and making them meet and yeah. fall in love then we would not never have been born right yeah. and so yeah. with that's why we've got to honor our mother and father and you know when they get to an older age then it's our responsibility to look after them because they looked after us when yeah. we were yeah. knee high right, right. Yeah. And, and it's the same for father god we don't have to look after 
after Father God, but he wants to look after us for all eternity. Yeah, yeah. That's the beauty yeah, because yeah. there's no death in Christ. Yeah. We're still always children. Physical death. We're always children to him and yeah. well, that's why we can go to him about everything and everything. Yeah. But we got the physical death. Everyone yeah. on earth is going to die. Yeah, of course, but yeah. when you're alive in Christ, when you've given your life to Christ, truly belong to him, then you're going to spend an eternity with him and in the twinkling of an eye when this body dies your spirit will be in eternity with god mm -hmm. once jesus christ returns of course yeah. so right, yeah. that's that's where we'll you will be in the grave and then god will raise us up you know when jesus christ returns and we will spend an eternity with him and you know the judgment all of us will go to judgment and the judgment will be for true believers yeah. uh, true born again christians those who believe and who, who make jesus his lord and his savior it will be well done and good and faithful servant yeah, yeah. and then yeah. there was that reject christ they will be the angels of god will throw them into the pits of hell yeah. where they'll be eternally separated so, yeah. from god and they'll be eternally punished by the the wrath of the fire uh, which is the fire of god's anger in hell yeah. and uh, yeah. you know if they've got believing uh, relatives who they love very dearly they're also going to be separated from them oh yeah which is very sad as a you know as a consequence your choices as a consequence and you know god has given us eternal life in jesus christ and if you reject that you pay the consequence of that you know and, yeah. and if you accept them, you also pay the consequence of having eternal life but you know it's very important that you make the choice because you will have the consequences of that you know absolutely because you know, he wants he's done everything for us and if you're 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 pushing it aside you know, as if it's insignificant because you don't want to be religious you know that's ridiculous because well, it's wants not us about in religion though. yeah it's not about church yeah. It's not about uh, religion, it's about your relationship with your Creator yeah. and with God, who is Jesus Christ. He is our Abba Father. He's a very loving Father and we can go to Him with anything. Amen.